So about five months ago, I made a video talking about this site right here, rblx.trade. However, um, since it was five months ago, the site has gone through some major changes, and I figured I might as well make an updated tutorial to help navigate through the site, basically. So, let's get started right away. So if you don't know what rblx.trade is, it's, as it says right here, your number one source for statistics and information about the Roblox collectible economy. They also have a Discord server and a Twitter, so if you want to, you know, join those and just, you know, see those, you can right there, but we're just going to be talking about the site in general, so let's go ahead right now. So first of all, we have the catalog section right here. They have four, you know, has four categories inside of it, the Roblox catalog, bundle catalog, EGC catalog, and leaks. So we're going to start off with the Roblox catalog, where you can see all the items that are on the Roblox catalog. That's really all there is to say. Um, you can see recently created, lowest favorites, you can sort it by really anything you want to here, so if you want to see oldest created, you can see this. And you can see that the very first item was the Pirate Captain's Hat, created on May 30th of 2007, so, uh, pretty old. And then we have the Bundle Catalog, alright? And here you can just simply see all the bundles that are on Roblox, you know, just to s compare prices and stuff, just to see if you want any. And then in the UGC catalog section, you can see all the UGC items that have been made over the years. Well, they haven't been that many years, but I mean, you know, UGC items are quite popular. You know, you can take a look at those. And then we can also see uh, leaks, basically hats that have been leaked to come out before they actually came out. Some of these have come out, but, you know, they were leaked before they came out, so that's why they're here. So we're going to move on to the limited section, okay? So first of all, we have the limited catalog. And we can see, you know, every Roblox Limited, um, we can sort it by highest, lowest, highest wrap, lowest wrap, anything you really want to, so. You can take a look at those, you know, highest wrap, we'll just see this. And then we have the Dominus Virgidus at 28 million wrap, that's pretty dang crazy. And then we have the range filters, you know, you can just sort it by however much you want. Let's say you want to look for items between 5,000 and 25,000. So, then it'll show any items between 5,000 and 25,000 wrap. Simple as that, right? Then we have the UGC Limiteds catalog, where you can see all the UGC Limiteds, you know? You can see how many are remaining and stuff like that. It's much easier to see than on Roblox, you know? It's pretty, you know, simple to use, and... I don't know, it's a lot more sorted out. It's a lot more neat, as one may say. So, um, yeah, that's basically that. And then we can also see upcoming free UGC Limiteds, which is probably the biggest hype of this site. People use this for this reason. This is one of the reasons why people use this, this site. Um, yeah, it's really useful. You can see when UGC Limiteds are going to come out for free. And heck, who, knew, who knows? You can even snipe one. So, honestly, I highly recommend you go check that one out. So, um, yeah, if you go on the site, highly recommend checking this page out. And then we're going to move on to trading now. So, you can make a trade ad with the trade ads category. You can see people are making trade ads like this. Here, I'll make a trade ad to demonstrate how it works, and I'm not logged in. But, um, you know what? Screw it. It's okay. Just, just, you know, it's really simple. If you log in, you can see your items. You just have to post your items and then whatever you want to. Very simple, right? Then we have the trade calculator. So you can see, you know, how much trades are worth. Let's say I have a Dominus Frigidus and Dominus, and I want to get Dominus Astra and a Bling Necklace. You can see really just how much wrap and value difference it is just to help you, you know, see items better. Just make sure you're not getting scammed or whatnot. So, yeah, obviously this is a really crappy trade, and I would not ever recommend doing a trade like this. But, you know, it's just an example. Then we have value changes, and um, we can just see, you know, if items have gone up or down in value. We can see Adrite Antlers a month ago have... Increase in value 2,000, and a lot of others like that, you know, pretty simple, right? And then we'll go over to wrap requirements, and this is really, um, this is really useful because you can see how much wrap is worth for value when you're trading, so if someone requests an item that is, you know, like let's say 24,000 value and they want something for 21,500 wrap, that may not be exactly worth it because... It's not quite equal in terms of, you know, how much it's worth. So, pretty useful. I highly recommend that for newer traders. And if we go over to, what was it? Projected items. Is that what it was? Yeah, projected items. 
we can see, you know, just all the projected items, make sure you're not getting scammed. And you know what? Yeah, it's pretty useful because you can see here, like for example, this one's 89,000 when the wrap is only 25,000. Not worth it. And then we're going to move over to the player section. So we're going to go over to player search. We can search any players we want to. For example, I'm going to search up me in this example. So we're going to go to my profile. And as you can see, if we go to my profile, you can see I have not very much going on. I don't really trade much anymore. But you know, you can see my graph. You can see everything in detail. And if you go to my profile, you can see all the details about it. I have 11,000 followers. I can see my previous usernames. It's, it's an organized way of viewing people's profiles, right? So let me go to banned player search. We can search up any banned players. Like, uh, let's see. Who should I search up? I can't really think of anyone to search up, so if we go to, you know, maybe content deleted or whatever, if we search up content deleted, we can see, you know, PG accounts or whatnot, and just, you know, we can see terminated accounts. So basically the player search, but for banned players mainly. So if your account gets banned, you can still view your profile with this feature. And then if we go to the leaderboard, we can see, you know, who has the most rapid value out of everybody in the entire game. So number one is Roblox. Number two is Stickmaster Luke, number three Linkmon99, number four Son of Sevenless, and number five Simoon68, and so on so on. Also, uh, completely unrelated, Simoon68 once bought one of my t-shirts for some reason. I, I don't know, but I just, I don't know, it's kind of cool, I guess. Um, so if we go to Terminated Leaderboard, we can also see the most rap and value of Terminated players. So number one is Bad Decisions, number two is Bad Decisions 2. Number three is Bad Creations Do Not Mind. Number four is Knitted Sweater. And five is I Di Diablo. Now, I was going to show inventory search, but um, as far as I could see, it really doesn't work. <laughs> but it's a pretty useless feature anyway. It doesn't really do much, so don't even worry about it. And then we go over to the deals page. We can see all the deals that are currently going on. You can see items that are on sale for cheaper than they should be. So we can see here, what's a good one already? So, um... Yeah, Inkwell Leg is selling for 80 Robux when it's usually 96 with the wrap. Um, honestly, oh, that's not bad. I, I'm actually gonna do that. And boom, I just bought it. <laughs> so, um, as you can see, um, I can resell it for maybe 109. I don't, I didn't really get that much profit, did I? I didn't get any profit. It's all right. But you know, you can, you know, it just demonstrates, right? So, yeah, you can get items for cheaper this way. It's pretty, it's pretty simple and pretty useful, you know? And then you, with search, you can just search any items you want to or any players you want to. Simple as that. All you have to do is just search something. And then to log in, you just type in your username. I'm just going to type in a random username. It's not my actual username. And then it will come up with a code like this. Oh, that's a, okay. That's an actual user. Um, oopsies. But you know, all you have to do is paste the code it gives you into your login and or no, and not into your login. You have to paste the code that it gives you into your about page on your profile and then press login and simple as that. So that's really all you have to do. You can change it right after. It's a really safe and secure way to do it. You don't need to enter a password or anything like that. And then if we go to the more page, we can see that there's preferences. However, there's not too much going on there. And then they also have a discord server and a support server. The discord server has about 100,000 people in it, I believe. Very active server. You know, if, and also if you want to go to the trading help channel in the server, you can get helps on trades and whatnot, because there are trade helpers in the server. And then the support server is if anything ever happens in the main server and whatnot. So, I don't know, pretty useful. You know, if you want to join their Discord servers, highly recommend it. Pretty fun server. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the uh, rblx.trade site. So, hopefully this video does help you, and hopefully, you know, you do get better at trading with this. I know it definitely did help me with trading. And honestly, I'd even say in some parts, it is a very close competitor to Rollymons. In fact, sometimes it's even better than Rollymons. So honestly, check out RBLX.Trade. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.